Hi, I'm Austin Titchener, one third of the Reduced Shakespeare Company, and I am so excited to tell you that on April 5th and 6th, I'll be getting out of snowy, wintry Chicago and returning to California to perform William Shakespeare's long lost first play abridged at the Broad Stage in Santa Monica. Oh, I can't wait. You may have heard us on NPR or seen us on PBS performing our very first show, The Complete Works of William Shakespeare Abridged. And we've performed our other shows, The Complete History of America Abridged, uh, All the Great Books Abridged, Completely Hollywood Abridged, and The Ultimate Christmas Show Abridged all over Southern California. We've even been seen by such big time Hollywood stars as Heather Locklear, Shelley Long, and Winnie Cooper. We found William Shakespeare's long lost first play abridged when we were on tour in England. And we had just parked Titus in a Oh, I should explain. Uh, we travel in a large 12-seat passenger van we call Titus Vandronicus. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. Um, anyway, we had just parked Titus in a parking lot in Leicester, and we found this hole in the parking lot. And down in the hole, there was a pile of bones that didn't look very important. So we moved the bones aside, and next to the bones was a bundle of papers. And that bundle of papers turned out to be William Shakespeare's long-lost first play abridged. Now, we've had this checked and verified. There are six surviving examples of Shakespeare's handwriting. This is clearly written in all six of Shakespeare's hands. And my partner, Reed Martin, and I took the manuscript to the Folger Shakespeare Library in Washington, D.C., which holds the largest collection of Shakespeare crap in the world. And we showed it to Dr. Heather Wolf, the curator of manuscripts and archivist at the Folger, and I remember it like it was yesterday. So, what do you think? Well, first of all, the paper isn't right. It's not handmade rag paper, which is what it would have to be if it were from the 16th century. But that's not our fault. Yeah, no, no, no. I think if you if you go to the back, it says uh, 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 property of Ye Olde Office Depot. Um, yeah. The handwriting isn't right either. What's the um, matter with it? It's it's not in secretary hand, which is the hand that Shakespeare no, would he, have used. He, no, he wrote it himself. He didn't use a secretary. Yeah. This is what we're telling well, you. No, so I mean the style of handwriting and the period is called secretary hand. It's not about whether or not Shakespeare had a secretary. I, I, okay, so you're a scholar. What would you call it? I would call it um, a forgery. He also showed Shakespeare's long lost first play to Michael Whitmore, the director of the Folger Shakespeare Library. This is the literary holy grail. D just take a look. Just pick anything at random. Oh, that this two two salad fresh were a tuna melt. Yeah, yeah, that's obviously Shakespeare talking about Hamlet's edible complex. Yeah. It's fine. We ended up taking it to the Maxwell House Shakespeare Library. And now we are so excited to be bringing William Shakespeare's long lost first play abridged to the Broad Stage in Santa Monica on April 5th and 6th. It's a massive 100 hour play written by a very young and inexperienced, though still a genius, William Shakespeare. It's over 100 hours long and it's filled with 1,639 characters that we all know from his later plays. But we have reduced it down to two hours and only about 50 or so of your favorite Shakespearean characters like Puck, Falstaff, Richard III, King Lear, Dromeo, the three witches from the Scottish play, the cruel witch Sycorax, Lady Macbeth, Hamlet, Juliet, Oberon, Viola, Plain Kate, Beatrice, Mistress Quickly, and dozens of others. Please get me out of Chicago. Come see us at the Broad Stage on April 5th and 6th performing William Shakespeare's long lost first play abridged. You cannot claim to have seen Shakespeare's complete works until you've seen Shakespeare's long lost first play abridged.